It's Rashi brings that explanation over there, explains that your friends are your life. Your life depends on your friends. So everyone needs to check what it means, my friends. For me today, I know that my wife, she's my best friend in the world. No one of my friends, I can compare my friendship with him to the friendship that I have with my wife. And I know that our life depends on that, in our friendship. So sometimes your best friend can be your wife, your wife's best friend can be you. Perfect. You need to check who is your real best friend. Who is your friend? And with that friend, friend, the word friend in Hebrew, in the Shona Kodesh means Chaver, you say Chaver. Chaver, it's like Chibur. You joined, you're connecting, you become one together. That's Chaver, it's Mitchaber, it's connecting and become bigger and bigger. He's a part and you're a part and together you become complete. So that is the friend that we need. And all of Am Israel, they're friends. All of Am Israel are brothers. All of the nations that want and will want in the future, future to join us, they must be our friends, allies. They need to, to, to be friends with us. They need to accept on themselves that they love us, that they like us, that they have something in common with us. And then based on that friendship, we can do things together. As an individual, no matter how strong you will be, you will lose. Even Moshe Rabbeinu Hashem Barach gave him his brother Aaron to be with him. And even that was not enough. So he had also his student Yahshua. You always need to have those relationships. But those relationships, it's something that must come from inside. The love must be a love that is an unconditional love, a pure love. Not based on desires or on fears or on needs or on any kind of pleasure. That friendship must be so pure, like the friendship between David Amelech, King David, and his friend Yonatan, the son of Shaul Amelech, King Shaul. That their love was so incredible, so high, so powerful, so inspiring, we can learn from the verses that Yonatan was ready to give up on the kingship of, of Israel. He was supposed to be the next king. And if he would follow his father to kill King David, to kill David, so he would inherit the, the, the throne of arms, the, 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 the crown. But he chose to give the kingship, the crown, to David because he saw that he was more worthy to rule. When Moshe Rabbeinu was on his way to the land of Egypt, to, to, to save uh, our nation from the hands of the Egyptians. So he was afraid and he said to Hashem Barach, to the Creator, he told him, listen, why you chose me? Take Aaron, my elder brother. He is the leader of Am Israel right now in Egypt. He's leading them. He's the best. Why are you crowning me? Why you give me this position, this job? Let him do the job. Let him go and do the, He's the best. He's, he's the leader of Am Israel today. Hashem Barach told him, don't worry. He will be happy when he gonna see you. He will be happy means he will be happy with your success. He won't be jealous. He won't be envy, envious at you. He will be happy to see that you succeed. He will see your success as his success. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator. To remember that it's all He. Never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.